In its heyday, the Nissan Maxima was king of the sports sedan niche. Blessed with good looks, sporty handling, and a price that put it on par with more mundane offerings, the Maxima soon gained a loyal following. But the last two generations of Maximas didn't live up to the four-door sports car reputation earned by the original, growing larger, slower, and absent a sporting edge. The newest Maxima hopes to reverse this trend by returning to the nameplate a unique sense of styling, a European sport-tuned suspension, and an interior fit for an exotic. Hello and welcome to our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Nissan Maxima. If you need the passenger and cargo room found in a family sedan, but prefer something that looks and performs more like a sporty coupe, you should test drive the Maxima. If your old school upbringing insists a sports car must offer a manual transmission, the Maxima's paddle shift CVT automatic will prove an unacceptable compromise. On the open road, we found the Maxima delivered a smooth ride, good handling, and an enthusiastic ability to accelerate. But the car's size, weight, and front drive layout seem to negate Nissan's claimed rebirth of the four-door sports car. While Nissan has done a good job of exercising torque steer from the front-wheel drive Maxima, we were looking for a driving experience closer to that of the BMW 3 Series or even the Infiniti G37. And although both are more expensive sedans, the Maxima is far from Honda Accord or Toyota Camry territory itself. Still, for those less concerned with razor-sharp steering and cutting-edge performance, the Maxima will prove an enjoyable daily driver and certainly as good a performer as any of its front-wheel drive competitors. One of our favorite features on the Maxima is the Xtronic CVT automatic transmission that features steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Nissan has engineered the CVT to imitate the shift points of a conventional transmission, allowing the driver to feel that little jolt that indicates a gear change. We also like the available rear seat audio and air conditioning controls built into the fold down center armrest. If the last generation Nissan Maxima was reserved, the newest model sheet metal can best be described as utterly flamboyant. Wild fluctuations abound with deep curves cut above the front and rear wheels, wraparound L-shaped headlights, and a catamaran style hood with a bulging center section. The wheelbase and overall length have been shortened by about two inches, but the front and rear track are now wider by an inch and a half, a feature that helps improve handling and stability. While we applaud Nissan's attempt to push the styling envelope, we think they may have gone a bit too far with the rear fender grooves that, upon first glance, look as though the Maxima were involved in a nasty parking lot hit and run mishap. The Nissan Maxima's interior is designed to do two things, create a coupe-like cabin that can seat four and convince its occupants they are riding in a high-end premium vehicle. It accomplishes both tasks with a generous helping of leather and wood trim, nicely bolstered performance seats, and a thick grip steering wheel that should be the new standard for all performance-minded cars. Although the Maxima now offers less interior volume than the Nissan Altima, front seat comfort is still first rate, and both front and rear seats offer good head and leg room for four adult-sized occupants. The Maxima also offers two different rear seat options, a standard 60-40 folding unit or an available fixed back rear seat with a center armrest pass-through. The Maxima 3.5S has a power moonroof, eight-way power drivers and four-way power passenger seats, and Nissan's intelligent key access with push-button start. Also standard are dual-zone automatic temperature control and an AM-FM stereo with six-disc CD changer with auxiliary audio input jack. The 3.5 SV adds leather-trimmed sport seats, nine-speaker Bose audio including two subwoofers and a center channel speaker, driver's power lumbar support, fog lights, and side view mirrors with integrated turn signals, plus electronic traction and stability controls. Standard safety features include a full complement of front and side curtain airbags, plus electronic traction and stability controls. Most of the Maxima's options are bundled into packages. Adding the premium package brings a dual panel moonroof, heated outside mirrors with reverse tilt down feature, heated and cooled driver's seat, a heated steering wheel with paddle shifters, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, Bluetooth connectivity, and the rear view monitor. The sport package includes much of the same equipment as the premium package, but adds a sport suspension, 19 inch wheels with V rated tires, a rear spoiler, and sport seats. The tech package includes a hard drive navigation system with voice recognition, 9.3 gigabytes of music storage, and an iPod interface. Every Maxima is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine producing 290 horsepower and 261 pound-feet of torque. 
The engine is mated to a continuously variable transmission, or CVT, with driver sport mode and manual shift capability. Despite the Maxima sports car-like attitude, its fuel economy remains decidedly middle of the road, with EPA highway estimates falling in the mid-20s. The manufacturer's suggested retail price for the Nissan Maxima 3.5S starts around $31,000, while the better equipped 3.5 SV starts closer to $33,500. A fully equipped Maxima tops out around $40,000. The Maxima's pricing is consistent with the Volkswagen CCV6, Acura TL, and Chrysler 300, but is a few thousand dollars more than the V6 equipped Pontiac G8. To find out what consumers are actually paying for the Nissan Maxima right now, we suggest you check the New Car Blue Book value page. As for resale, we expect that over a five-year period the Maxima will hold a good portion of its original value, performing better than the Chrysler 300 and on par with the Volkswagen CC and Pontiac G8. And that's our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Nissan Maxima.